Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial. Today I'm going to go over different animation presets called behaviors. And uh, these behaviors have a couple different things within them that are pretty sweet looking. And um, they use like a combination of effects and ex expressions to animate your layer without using keyframes, which is pretty sweet. So I'm going to get into those and show you a few of those and how they work and everything like that. So right now I just made some text and it has nothing done to it. It's just text on a background. So um, if we come into our effects and presets section over here and under animation presets, if we twirl that open and then go twirl down presets, just regular presets, the second one down is called behaviors. If we twirl that down, We've got all of our different behaviors here. Now we've got um, wiggles with, that we won't have to use the wiggler if we use those. We've got opacity and we got some fade ins and some drifts and stuff like that. So um, one of the first ones I'll just show you is this fade in, fade out frames. You got milliseconds and frames. So it depends on what you're using in your um, in your timeline, but most of the time when you use or when you're working on like commercials or movies or anything like that you're going to use frames at least in the United States so let's uh, use that one so I'm gonna click and drag it onto my text and all we've got here is just a simple fade in and then at the end it should fade out yep so it's supposed to fade out it doesn't fade out all the way for some reason but I mean we can we can change that by changing the source opacity the source opacity over here is red. That means it's uh, linked by an expression somewhere. So if we twirl down and we press UU, we can get everything that's uh, moved at right here. And we can check out this expression. Now, this expression is actually longer than this just one line. If I t go down here, it's a pretty decently big expression. and. Uh, I would have to go into this and look at it a little bit more to figure out what it's actually doing because it's got a whole bunch of stuff but um, so pretty much this uses the expre an expression to determine how many frames that it, this is going to take to fade in or out so um, these two uh, go hand in hand you can edit some of these um, some of these uh, what do you call them? some of these properties couldn't think of the word. That seems to happen to me so, uh, once in a while in these tutorials. Every like five tutorials, I can't think of the word that I want to think of. But um, so I can make the duration of the of the fade in longer. So I can do like 50, and maybe I'll do 50 here. So it takes a longer time for it to actually fade in. Actually, 50 frames instead of 50, 15 frames. So it all depends on what you want. So. Uh, that's how uh, something like that works. So that's one behavior. You can put uh, more than one behavior on top of another. So each one of these presets can be like layered on top of each other. So if I want to go into wiggle and I'll do um, a scale wiggle, I'll bring that on top. And you can see that it's um, doing a scale kind of wiggle. And it's scaling from the anchor point. It's also got a uh, transform going on here, and it's scaling the width and the height um, separately. Let's see if it actually is separate. Yep. Yep, they are separate. So if I check uniform scale, it'll scale it um, together like that. So you can make the direction and all that kind of stuff. So you anything that's not in red, you can edit. Um, if you try to edit something in the red or edit the expression, it'll probably break the um, it'll probably break the expression and won't work correctly. So I mean, you can if you know how to use expressions a lot, which I haven't taught them yet, then um, you can go ahead and try to modify things. But for the most part, now if you haven't used them, just don't just leave them alone. So we've got these two. If you hold control and press A, you can select everything and press delete to delete them out. 
and now it's back to normal. So we'll just throw on a couple of other ones just for fun. Um, let's go scale bounce layer markers. Now I think you got to put some markers in on the layer here to uh, do the scale bounce. Oops. Let's um. Let's add a layer marker here. So let's go to layer and then um, where is that on here again? Oops, sorry. Um, add marker. Here it is. So we got the layer marker there and then we can add another one here. The uh, shortcut for the layer marker is the star. So which is multiply. Oh, not that one. It's on the numpad. My bad. There we go. Take that off. So that's how that one works. Right where you have a layer marker every time is where it'll do this uh, scale bounce. So um, I thought that was pretty cool that you could put down layer markers and have a an effect that um, has an expression linked to that. So there's a another cool thing that you can do. So you guys can mess around with the other uh, behaviors on here. You got Wiggle Rama. I'll let you guys figure out what that is because it sounds crazy. So I'll let you guys uh, find that stuff out on your own. Just drag them on and see what they do. So thanks for watching the tutorial. Now you know about behaviors and what they are like. So use them to your advantage. See you guys later and have a good one.